Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. Everybody loves a speed bag. Boxing fans, people who don't necessarily want to even learn how to box, they love the speed bag. Uh, whether it's from movies or seeing really professional fighters, really good ones really work good on a speed bag. It's, it's, it's a pretty popular tool that everybody um, is kind of infatuated with. So I'm gonna give you like a, a, a good way to learn, you know, how to hit the speed bag in, in its most basic form, which is what you need to eventually be able to do it really fast, right? So if you have a speed bag in the gym, or wherever, it's important to remember that all these are different too. So this speed bag is gonna be at a different feel and a different rhythm than let's say a speed bag at a gym down the street. So I'm gonna have to be able to adjust to the speed bag, but the, the basic technique is still the same, right? And, and when you're first learning how to speed bag, how to hit the speed bag, you, you don't have to be in any crazy boxing stance or anything. What I like to do is it's a little less practical, just kind of stand with your legs shoulder width apart kind of squared up to the bag, and you're gonna practice one hand at a time to start. So when hitting the speed bag, you wanna kinda of hit it with the side of your hand, right, in the basic form. So it's almost like uh, you're, you're, you're chiseling something or, or picking an ice pick or something. So you, you hit the bag and you roll through it, nice and easy. That's like your basic hit. And the bag's gonna go one, two, three. That's the rhythm of the, ba of the basic way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I hit the bag, I hit the bag and I roll through. My hand's getting ready for the next one. I roll through to the spot. So I'm not enjoying what I just did. I'm constantly thinking about the next thing. One, two, three, one, two, three. And all, another thing to remember is you want to hit it before it gets halfway back. I don't want to wait till it gets here to strike it. Then my hand starts getting too high. I can hit it on the wood. That doesn't feel good. I've done that before too. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three. And remember, the harder you hit it, the faster it goes. This rhythm that I'm hitting at is the same thing that I can hit it fast as well. But I go slow, and I one, two, three. Other hand is up here. So I might do 10 with this hand. Eight, nine, 10. Then I'm gonna go to the other hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then I'm gonna go nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so on. You can work your way down, eight, eight, seven, seven. That's a good way to kind of learn. And then once you get it down, you feel really good doing this basic way with one hand, you can start practicing your transitions, right? One, two with this hand, one, two. So I'm switching, two with each hand, one, two. Other hands up, I'm getting ready to hit, hit it with the other hand. Those are good transitions. And obviously, you do one with each hand. When you hit one with each hand, it's important to get, the, you gotta get, get, make the hands move a little quicker so they're ready, right? One, one. My hand's a little closer to the bag. So you're constantly ready for the next thing, right? So that's kind of like the basic way to hit the speed bag. Now, everybody wants to hit the speed bag super fast right away. So you must remember, you have to start slow and practice the right way. It's like Vince Lombardi said, practice does not make perfect only perfect practice makes perfect. So make sure you practice a speed bag the right way.